I had young Jack uh, do these steps last Saturday, or these step treads they're going to be, this uh, laminated um, beam cut to make step treads, and to see it, we're sealing it with a, uh, the boat coat. Anyway, I came out later on, and here's the two bottles of hardness sitting on the bench, and I said, Jack, what resin did you use? And he said, oh, the one in the big bottle. And I drug him out and said, you mean that one? And he went, ah. So what he'd done, he'd put mixed hardener with hardener and put it onto our, our U-butte thread. So what we've got, we've got the sticky mess from Jack using our epoxy. And also the dags, quite often when you do a epoxy, uh, use the bow coat or any epoxy for that matter, it'll roll around and you'll end up with dags on your bottom edge. A good way to get rid of them, just heat it up. So we, we've got sticky stuff in amongst good stuff here. So our aim is to get rid of the good stuff, but see how it's melted? And just go along. And clear that, our dags are going as well. Have some newspaper available so that you can take it off. I'll just melt this off. So it's a good way to clean up your metal paint scrapers as well if the epoxy goes hard on them. Just uh, heat it up and it'll come off. So what we've done here, I'll we'll just heat him up. And as it melts, it'll it'll come straight off. Even, even our stuff that had cured. So another way, way to clean the dags off your um, uh, timber work and that before you start sanding to clean up but uh, see how it's coming straight off that's how you get rid of uh, uncured epoxy off the surface and or dags off the bottom of your board to, to save a whole heap of uh, sanding